Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special unboxing video on a Monday that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing but also turning it into a bit of a guessing game for you guys as well um, to play along with and as I say, just rather than me just show you the figure that I've just recently acquired let's make it a bit of a game. So this one, I'm not going to lie, this one is really difficult A for me to do and B for yourselves to do but a little bit of a clue, got my Japanese top on so this is a Japanese exclusive um and it's sort of based around a generation one figure uh but it's not also before we go any further i need to thank tim banerjee who's a guy i mentioned on this channel quite a bit uh which surprisingly enough he's helped me with this hugely in fact it's from him and even more surprisingly that it's also nothing to do with mini bots so as i say this is to do with japanese figures released in japan only uh but the molds have been used elsewhere and in other different uh toy lines so the figure i'm going to say figures because it's 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 a it's a few of them to be fair uh the figures were originally used in japan only in 1992 um and they were released um in a set um as autobots now they were released again in japan in 2003 and i also believe that they were released in the rest of the world um, by Hasbro as well in 2003. So I think that might have been the Cybertron toy line. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not too familiar with that. Uh, but I am familiar, as I say, with quite a bit of the Japanese stuff. Now, this this the reason why this is even more difficult to, um, I suppose, to explain is because it's not a standard version, which, again, I think people who watch me on this channel are quite used to. I like to find certain variants. So I suppose this would be now this would be commonly now known as a chase variant um, of the certain figures. So I suppose one clue that I can give you is that a few months back, maybe even a year ago now, because it was in the other room, uh, um, that Tim, again via Tim, I did a chase version of a certain few figures that again were released in 92, then released uh, later on. So the certain group of figures that I'm going to sort of let you know straight away, um, that they are Micromasters. Um, and I think you can pretty much guess that, as I say, if they were released in 1992 in Japan, that toy line was known as Operation Combination and pretty much most of the toy line combined. So these are a combiner and um, that does mean that uh, well, it doesn't mean I'm going to pretty much let you know that they were MicroMaster combiners. Now, as I said, now I'm pretty sure that in the toy line Cybertron, a few of them were reissued and re-released. Re but this is nothing to do with that. This is um, the Japanese versions and the Japanese variants. However, there is a very close uh, sort of version that Hasbro did um, of this sort of figure, to be fair. So... Um, the original figure that it was based upon in 1992 was called Six Builder. And then the other figures, I know I'm pretty much telling you now, anyway. then in 2003 in Japan, they reissued them again. They just changed the colours ever so slightly. Um, and it was just called Six Builder. Now, they came in boxes like this. This is funnily if the one, the box for Six Train, uh, because I got the, the red that one there i got that red chase version of six train that's in a video on this channel already again from tim and if you remember that they came again in boxes like this so that was the six train ones again they were supposed to be all the multicolors, but they were all red because they were chase and this is very similar to the six builder that was supposed to be well there is in these boxes but this is again the japanese chase variant so the colors is the autobot variant so the cybertron variant which is that which is very similar to as he smashes everything the original one from 1992 again there's a video on this on this channel already if you want to see that it's um it's already out on the shelf that's why it's not in the box uh but these these are the chase versions so these were painted in a completely different color and again these are all brand new and they do look very familiar to um i think it's the cybertron version which looked a little bit like devastator well with this particular color scheme being much closer to the g1 original constructor cons um this one was known as destron six builder so um he's not he's not known as devastator at all but he does look very much like it and all of these all six of them in that box are exactly that they're all these six components which i can use to build up destron six builder um as i say and just to give you a bit of a tease before i do it myself in the video because of course i'm going to do a video on him 
this is his colour scheme. So as I say, it's much, much closer to the G1 version of Devastator than the Cybertron version. So you probably didn't guess it. If you did guess it, unbelievably, unbelievable guessing. Uh, because I couldn't make, um, I couldn't think of anything to say uh, properly. But anyway, the, at the end of the day, guys, this is the 2003 Japanese chase variant of the reissue of the 1992 six building Micromaster Combiner. Um, I look forward to doing the video with you. So because they're all brand new, I'm going to do full unboxing and full combining video. Um, and I look forward to doing it. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, yeah, take care.